Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another ready for you guys and this time is a makeup tutorial on this look right here and it's kind of like a mustardy, bold, colorful eye look and I use drugstore eyeshadows. I used the NYX Ultimate palette. I consider this drugstore. It's like really affordable and this is the Brights palette and I used three shadows I believe. It's really really simple and I really like how it turned out and yeah if you want to know how I created this look then please keep on watching and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And by the way excuse my voice right now. I am so sorry. I just like lost my voice recently and I'm like gaining it back so I do sound a bit croaky and weird so I'm so so sorry. And, and yeah I love you guys so much and let's just go ahead and get started. Hi guys, I'm just going to go straight into it and start with my eyes and I'm going to prime them with this Gosh Prime and Refresh Illuminating Eye Roll-On and I'm just going to apply it under my eyes and then blend it away gently with my ring finger and I just discovered this brand, I really like this eye roll-on but I do not find it that illuminating, it does tighten my under eyes so it feels really refreshing in the morning and perfect for applying my makeup. Now I'm going to move on to my lips and for lips I'm going to use the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil and this is in the shade 06 Mint. It smells amazing and it tastes really nice as well. It's not too minty but it makes your lips sting so yeah I love it. Next for my eyelids I'm going to prime them with the NYX Gacha Cover Concealer in the shade 00 Alabaster and then I'm going to set them with the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth powder. It's the classic ivory shade, the 120 shade. And I'm going to use a flat shader brush just to set everything. And then I'm moving on to the Morphe Copper Spice Palette. I just need this one transition shade because the NYX Ultimates Palette does not have a transition shade. So I just wanted like a really soft peach one for it not to look too crazy and it's not too hard to blend. But yeah, going in with the star of the show, I'm going to use this like orangey yellow type of shade. And I'm going to use it with a Coastal Sense BR250 Pro Fluff brush or something like that. I really like this brush. It feels high-end and it's really affordable. So I'm going to link everything down below as per usual. And yeah, I'm going to go back and forth with these two brushes and that same shade and just buff it away so it looks like really seamless. And then I moved on to the yellow lemony zesty shade. I don't know, it reminds me of lemons. And I'm just going to apply that to the very center of my eye, really close to my lash line. And then I go in again with the other Coastal Sense brush. And I'm just going to buff it and blend it. Now I actually grab some of the orangey shade and just buff it into my inner corner. And then I move on to the NYX White Liquid Liner. Now I really wanted to go with like a white liner to make it a little bit bolder because since this eye look is so simple and so easy, I wanted to like make it pop a little with the white liner. I do recommend that you try to nail the liner the first try, like not reapply and reapply and reapply and fix it because if you will apply it again after it's dry, it starts to crack, so yeah. As per usual, I'm going to curl, crack, curl my eyelashes and then go in with the Maybelline Mask Sensational Mascara, the waterproof one. And I'm just going to give it a small coat to my lashes because I'm going to move on to my fake lashes. And these are the Revlon Beyond Natural Lashes in the number 91303. And they're kind of like an in-between of the Silent Perfect Demi Wispies and the Ardell Demi Wispies. These are like in the middle, so I really thought they would look nice and cute for this look. Like not too dramatic, nice and simple. So yeah, I really like how this look looks. It's so simple. I loved it. But yeah, I'm going to remove all the fallout with a makeup remover wipe and the concealer. There wasn't much fallout at all. It's just like three shadows I used literally and it was so easy. So I just wanted to clean it up a bit before I went in with foundation. And yeah, I'm going to prime my face with the Nivea Post Shave Balm and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. It's the gray one. And yeah, I am the smoothing primer, as you can see, I'm just applying it to my cheeks where I have larger pores and my nose, which gets a little bit oily. For foundation, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation and I'm going to go in with this because I didn't feel like my skin was as nice as it normally is and I was just like, nah, I'm going to use a lot of foundation today. So yeah, I'm going to use this brush right here. It's the um, Marifar Cosmetics Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki Brush and I really love it for this foundation. It makes the blending of foundation so much easier and so quick. So yeah, I just edited everything out so you didn't have to see me buffing all my foundation because you get the gist of it. It's just like buffing it out a little bit, stippling, stippling it. 
and I did go in with a little bit more on my cheeks, my nose, and my forehead because it's a little bit red there and I wanted to cover that. I wanted to be flawless, like this flawless skin, really porcelain doll type of look. And then I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 1.00. And I'm just going to use a tiny bit on that brush, that's a pencil brush. And I just conceal my blemishes because I did break out and I wanted flawless skin, like I said. So yeah, I found that the easiest method to um, blend out the concealer for like spot concealing per se is just with the same foundation brush, so yeah, that's a tip for you. And then as you saw, I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm using, as per usual, my Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer, my holy grail. And then I'm also using the NYX Gacha Cover Concealer to highlight afterwards. I just love the Tarte one, seriously guys. When you found the concealer, the one concealer, I don't really find like a need to search for another one. So yeah, for the sake of my videos, I'm going to search for more concealers, but for now, it's just my holy grail. I love it so much. Anyways, um, this is the NYX concealer right here that I'm using to highlight. I do prefer cream highlighting, like highlighting my face with a concealer rather than with an actual highlight and contour cream palette or with powder. I just, it feels better in my under eyes. Seriously, my under eyes are really dry, so I prefer it with concealer and I really like it when I blend it out with this sponge as well. So that combination is just like my favorite. That's why I do it that way. And then to set my under eyes and my whole face actually, I'm going to use the same Fit Me powder that I used to set the NYX concealer on my eyelid when I primed, so yeah. I just set my under eyes with a smaller brush and then this is a bigger fluffy brush and I'm just going in just really lightly. I don't want too much. I'm not going in on this. We, <clears throat> I can't speak English, I'm sorry. I just, I didn't go in with that powder. I just wanted it to look dewy. That's what I was trying to say, I'm sorry. Then for bronzing, as per usual, um, I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I also need to try some more bronzers because I did find a bronzer, a drugstore bronzer that I really like, so yeah. I'm also going to search for some more. And now for contouring, I'm going to use the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and this is the shade Sculpt. And I'm going to use it just to contour my cheekbones and my nose, nothing more because I just really like like a light contour. I do want to contour a little bit, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Now for highlighting, I'm going to go in with that shade. I don't really remember the shade name. I'll list it, everything down below, but I'm just going to highlight my face with that shade a tiny bit, but I don't go in with a lot because my eyes are, my under eyes are dry, so yeah. For blush, I'm going to go in with the Gwen Stefani and the Urban Decay collaboration. I know this was limited edition, but I just couldn't help not use this in my video. If you have something similar, it's kind of like a highlighty blush. So yeah, I wanted that glowing effect. And to continue that glowing effect, I went in with my favorites currently, the Becca Champagne Pop that I'm using right here. I just go in as a base highlighter with this one. It's so intense and so pigmented and so blinding that I really wanted to use it. I think it matches perfectly with that like warmth of the eyes. And then I'm actually going to go in with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Light Scapade, which is what I'm using it now. I'm using it now. I can't speak. I'm so tongue tied today. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I just use it to top it off and make it a little bit more like white gold. Now, to finish off the face, I'm going to set it with the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. Now, this makes my foundation look really, really dewy, so I do wait until it dries and then go in over it with a sponge and my same powder brush. I didn't grab any powder, I just, just tapped it away just a tiny bit because I don't want it to look too dewy. Then for my lower lash line, I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did on my eyes. I'm just going to grab that orangey shade and just like kind of smoke it a tiny bit under my eye. And then I'm going to grab that lemony yellow shade and just apply it to the center of my eye really. Then with the MAC Light Scapade shade, that's going to be my inner corner highlight. I just wanted something like simple and white gold. To open up my eyes a little bit more, I'm going to use this Gosh um, Coal Eyeliner in the shade 04 Nude. And I didn't want to use white because I think that, that would be too much contrast, so that's why I used like a nude liner. And yeah, it opens up your eyes a slight bit without using white, if you know what I mean. Um, I did go in with mascara as you saw right there and then I moved on to brows for brows I'm using the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade 07 espresso and I just clean up the bottom as you can see here So it looks like nice and neat not too harsh I just want a really like light natural brow look that's kind of bushy 
and then I kind of drew some baby hairs there <laughs> like hair like strokes you know like small strokes to make that natural effect and just like combed the spoolie through and then I went in with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper um, brow gel it's in the shade medium but dark and it has some fibers in it which makes my brows look even bushier so I really like just like combing my brows upward for this look and looking at a little bit more natural than usual now for lips I'm going in with the NYX lip lingerie in the shade 07 satin ribbon I wanted like a pinky nude I didn't want something like too pink too yellow because it makes my teeth look really yellow so this is like my perfect nude for this look I didn't want to use a bold lip color today I didn't feel like it but yeah I just went in with this one it's a really pale peachy pink nude I would say and I thought it matched this look nicely and then for gloss because I felt like using some gloss I used the LA Colors pout lip gloss in the shade pouty <laughs> nice name I like the shade name <laughs> This lip combo is like a match made in heaven. I really like how this looks and it just matches really nicely the, the eye makeup. But yeah, this is the finished look guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below and I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye. Oh, this, you crazy mother